guys sal here so as you'd expect the pixel 5 is going to be the next flagship phone from google but will it really going to be a flagship phone because as per the latest information the pixel 5 may not be what anyone was expecting first of all this is going to be one of the potential designs of the pixel 5's back camera Google absolutely sucks at phone design, so I wasn't really expecting a good looking phone from them. But this looks different, some people kinda like it, a lot of them hate it. But let's talk about today's rumor which comes from a pre-release version of the Google's camera app courtesy of 9to5Google. First of all, they are able to find that the Pixel 5 will have a telephoto lens which shouldn't be surprising because the Pixel 4 had it as well. But what is surprising though is the processor the Pixel 5 is gonna come with. According to 9to5Google, PhotoPixel 2020 configuration refers to the Pixel 5 and the codenames Bramble and Redfin are for Qualcomm's recently released mid-range Snapdragon 765G chip and not for the more powerful Snapdragon 865 that we saw on the Galaxy S20 and we'll see on every other flagships including the OnePlus 8 Pro. Now these codes are from a pre-release version of the Google camera app from a prototype Pixel 4a, a mid-range Pixel phone from Google due to be unveiled in the company coming months. 9to5Google is a big reputed website and they are pretty confident that the Pixel 5 is gonna come with mid-range Snapdragon 765G processor rather than a flagship one. Now most of you will be disappointed by this change and rightfully so because the Snapdragon 765G is 30% less powerful than the Snapdragon 865 but if you think about it this change indeed makes a lot of sense. Google released the Pixel 3a last year with mid-range processor which offered good enough performance and a great camera and most importantly it helped Google increase the Pixel sales by a factor of 2. The main reason for that is its price tag of $399. Snapdragon 865 processor on the other hand is of course the most powerful to date but also it's the most expensive one. The processor is one of the big reasons why the Galaxy S20 Ultra is priced at $1400. If Google goes with this processor then the Pixel 5 will have to be priced over $1000 and considering Pixel devices don't offer the same value as say Samsung's flagships, there will be fewer people willing to spend spend over a thousand bucks on the Pixel 5. So in order to keep the cost under thousand dollars, Google may have decided to use an upper mid-range processor than a flagship one. Now considering the Pixel 5 is scheduled to be launched in October, which is six months away from now, it's advisable to take this with a pinch of salt. But in my opinion, it's more than likely that this is gonna happen, even though there is gonna be a Pixel 4a this year with a mid-range processor. Google may have decided to apply the success of the Pixel 3a to its mainline pixels instead of continuing to fail in the annual cycle of spec chasing against the giants like Samsung. Anyway, let me know what you think. Is it a good idea to use a mid-range processor on the Pixel 5 while offering big camera upgrades and features like motion sense? Do let me know down in the comments and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.